Hey everybody, this is a quick video showing a six degree of freedom IMU board that I'm working with. That I just got working today. Um, the project that I've got this on is a data logger for my motorcycle. And I'll show you that real quick. Let's see, here we go. Uh, the heart of it is an Arduino Mega. And then over here, this little red board is the IMU. Let's see if it'll focus. There we go. So this is from SparkFun. Uh, it's an analog output board that I got about a year ago. Uh, now if you buy one, they're, they're typically digital. And it has a three-axis accelerometer and a three-axis gyroscope on it. And what I'm going to use that for is to tell me what the orientation of my motorcycle is. So I'll know if I'm going up a hill or leaned over, going around a corner, um, or, or whatever. Technically, I could sense if I was sliding the back wheel and yawing it as well, but hopefully I'm not going to be doing that. So, uh, and then the other thing I'm going to do, and the reason I need to know the angle, is I want to get the acceleration off the accelerometer and uh, use that to calculate how much power the engine is generating. So I'm not sure exactly how well that's going to work out, but uh, this is the first step to that. So I, I modified a library today for the Arduino. It's based on the free IMU library, um, and that implements a what's called a DCM filter, and it uses a quaternion implementation of that, which is uh, some old school math from the 1850s that happens to work well with angles. Um, and then uh, that's actually for a nine degree of freedom sensor that includes a three axis magnetometer on it. I don't have that yet, I might add it. So that library was modified by builder.org uh, to use a six degree of freedom sensor like mine, but theirs uses a newer digital sensor. Uh, so I modified their library today to use my analog sensor and I also had to change around the axes and the signs of some of the axes because my board is laid out a little differently. Um, but anyway, now I'm going to demonstrate it. And, and they also included this cool little processing sketch that uh, shows a cube that moves as the IMU moves. So I can re-zero it and then pick up my box here that the IMU is in. And as I turn it, it turns on screen. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. So the one uncompensated axis is yaw, which is going this way. It's only reading from the gyroscope to get that. So that you would expect to drift over time. Um, and you can actually see it. I don't know if you can read the numbers, but the top number is yaw. So it just went from 24 up to 27, 28, 29, 30. You can see the block spinning. So it thinks I'm turning it, even though it's not. Um, but I don't really care that much about yaw over the long term, so that should be okay. If you put the... Uh, and so there I bounced it all around and didn't like that. If, if you put the magnetometer on there, uh, I can uncommon a few lines in my library and it will fuse that sensor in as well and it should be even more stable then. So anyway, uh, this is a good first step. It's pretty cool. Thanks for watching.